Hello and welcome to Pendulum the Binding and Dowsing with Lyman Holton. Today the pendulum we're going to be using is the newest of my collection and it's called a lacy agate. A lacy agate. All right, I'm going to be showing you a close up of this so you can get a good look at it. It's really quite beautiful. Also, something I want to show you is I'm always mentioning coffee. I like coffee. Well, here you can see what I have are just some regular Folgers coffee, coffee grounds in here. I take a heaping tablespoon and go throw it in the bottom of an empty cup. Then I have my boiling water, right? I just boiled her hot. What I do is I just simply pour this boiling water into the coffee grounds. I fill her up just a hair short of the very top. And you'll see right away that all the coffee grounds float up to the top. And as the coffee seeps or steeps, it steeps, the coffee grounds, when you shake the cup just a little bit, will get, they're saturated with water and get heavy and float to the bottom of the cup. So every little while, it takes a few minutes, you just shake the cup a little bit and the grounds fall down, right? And what you end up with is a delicious cup of coffee that there's no muss, no fuss. I don't have to clean a coffee pot. All I do is clean out the cup. Get ready to make another one if I want one, okay? Now, let's get on to the pendulum, okay? Which is why you're really here. So, for the pendulum, something I want to mention is many people believe that you should bless the pendulum. When you first get it, you should, um, I guess you'd call it like sanitize it, right? You're going to sanitize, you're going to clean it, you're going to bless it, you're going to get all the negativity out of it. And there's different ways people do that. Some people uh, like to just set it in uh, a cup of cold water and leave it set overnight. Or they'll take some coarse sea salt, they'll put that into a, a cup or a shallow bowl, and they'll basically bury the pendulum in that. And they'll leave it set for an hour, overnight, what have you. And they believe that extracts all the negativity. And then they get on to the next thing where they're going to bless it. They'll say, they'll hold it and say a little prayer over it, something like that, that they want to communicate and work well with the pendulum, that they respect it and they want it to be comfortable with them, so on and so forth. Some people will take the pendulum and they'll ask it. Now remember, for me, counterclockwise is yes, clockwise is no. Different for different people. But they'll ask a question, are we able to work together? Can we work together? And then you wait for the answer. Is it going to be a yes or a no? Now, yes, of course, means, hey, we're a good team. We can work together. No, not so good. So we'll see what happens here. We just take our time. Okay, and there we are. We gradually moved into a counterclockwise, counterclockwise move. Means yes, we're a team, we can work together. All right, now, something I do that's completely different from that, as I've stated before, I'm not too big on the let's bless the thing and we're buddies and all that sort of thing. I use it as a tool, an extension of myself. Some people do, uh, divining and dousing with just their arm. They don't have any device whatsoever. Some people use rods where they have an L-shaped rod in each hand or just one rod. And then the, the rods go which one way for yes and another way for no, and they can point to directions. Sort of things you can also do with pendulums. You can uh, actually have it lead you someplace, but that's another story. All right, so what I like to do though 
It makes me feel good, and I'm not sure why. I feel, I guess, more connected to the, to the pendulum. But when I pick up my pendulum, most of them are six-sided. And what I like to do is just run my fingers along all six sides, just like this. And then I have the chain with the other hand. I like that. Then I put my finger around in here. This, this makes me feel as though I've touched every surface of the pendulum and I'm truly a part of it. It's a part of me in that respect. I do the same thing with the opposite hand. Okay, rub around here and I like to run it through the chain here and I just feel more connected. Sometimes when I'm just sitting idly and listening to a radio or just thinking about something, many times I'll have one of the pendulums in my hand and I'll just sit there and I just kind of roll it around in my hands like that. Just feel it. That's me. Okay, now, what kind of a question are we going to ask our pendulum today? A yes or no question. Well, what I'd like to do this time instead of some of the big questions is how about um, what is uh, like, like you ask a question about something you want to know if you should do okay now the way you ask a question of course is important right now if you ask the pendulum uh, is is it going to be a good day today well that's a subjective question right the pendulum could say yes or no but it doesn't really mean a lot to you. You know, offhand, you're going to think, oh boy, it's going to be a good day. Well, on the other hand, if a mass murderer were to ask a pendulum, hey, is today going to be a good day? Well, the pendulum might go, yes, it is. And hey, the guy goes out and murders one or two people. Good day. No, right? For him, in his warped mind, yes. If your sweet grandmother picks up the pendulum and says, is it going to be a good day today? Well, the pendulum is not going to say yes because hopefully she'll go out and murder some people. No, but that would be a bad day for the mass murder if he didn't kill anyone, right? So it's subjective. So you could ask things like, what is in my best interest? Perhaps you're thinking about opening up a new bank, opening up a new bank account, right? And you might say something like, is it in my best interest to open up uh, uh, a maximum interest rate savings account at XYZ Bank? Is it in my best interest? Okay, and you get your yes. You could get your no answer, right? All right, so, uh, but the ver various questions. There are various questions like that you can ask, but you want to fine tune your yes or no questions, okay? So we'll just ask a simple question here so this video doesn't run on too long. Shake the coffee a little bit. Ah, she's falling down. Can you see that? Can you see the flakes of coffee falling down? So here's that delicious cup of coffee I was telling you about. Now here up here, all the coffee grounds had floated down. And you see them setting down here? They're all down there. And the cup's ready. So. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. Okay, a lot of people whine if they get a little coffee ground in their mouth. You know, the old time coffee pots instead of the drip ones, we used to boil it on the stove or an electric percolator. Get a little bit of grounds in your cup, grow up. Okay, now, a yes or no question, all right? Let's see. Um, so I'm going to ask a finance question, all right? now. Is it in my best interest to take the money I want to invest and invest it in land? Would that be in my best interest? And we'll wait and see what comes. Right away, we get a whopping yes. It would be in my best interest to invest money in land, okay? Now, of course, if I was really going to do this, uh, pursue it, 
I would ask more detailed questions like the location of the land, um, you know, what's the maximum amount I should spend, so on and so forth, okay? Now, that's what it says for me. What would it say for you? Hmm? Maybe it's time for you to uh, get rid of the old car. Maybe you're sticking more money into repairing your old car than it's worth, and instead of saving money by not buying a newer car, you're actually losing money. So, you could ask a question like that. Is it in my best interest to buy a new car? Or to buy a new used car? Now, let's take a look at the pendulum, okay? I wanted to show you that. Now, I'm sure you've seen many pendulums over the years, okay? You probably knew some old man when you were a kid who called himself an agate hound. He'd go out looking for agates, find how beautiful they are, right? Okay, so that's what we've got here. Just a real pretty rock, right? That's been ground down and tumbled and polished. Okay, it's quite so that's it for today. Just a quick little blast at you, all right? Now I'm going to try and get more videos out much more frequently, all right? So, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again the next time.